am Janice Edwards, and welcome to Janice Edwards TV, Janice Edwards Bay Area Vista. We are so glad to have you with us. And we are talking today with the legendary Lenny Williams. Lenny, so good to have you here. It's been over eight years when we were last in a studio together, and you were just composing an amazing song. So, you know, I want to start with asking you today, we know all of the awards, the songs, I, I told you how from, from Tower of Power days to So Very Hard to Go and you're still a young man, I have been a fan. But now you have new music, so much is going on. This is dedicated to all the girls down south. We ain't talking about just the big city. We're talking about backyards. We're talking about barbecues and tasty groups. Yeah, come on. Southern girls, Southern girls, come on, yeah. Talk about the Southern girls. So, when people ask you, who is Lenny Williams, what would you say to them? Oh, well, I'll just say I'm Leonard and Mildred's uh, son, you know, and uh, I'm uh, a person who uh, got into music uh, at a young age and uh, decided somewhere in my, uh, I guess, my late teens, around 19, to, to, to make music uh, my uh, way of, you know, just, just be the most important thing in my life other than, you know, my family. And uh, so uh, uh, it's, it's an experiment, you know, and it's, uh, like they say, the practice of medicine, this is the practice of music <laughs> that I've been involved in for the last 50 so, some odd years. It is incredible. Well, it's not just a practice, it's a perfection with you. It is an art, and we talk about an experiment. I would say the experiment has gone very, very well. What has helped you? What has helped you sustain, continue to reinvent? And what, are you, what do you look at as being some of your most proud achievements? Well, I guess what sustains me is, is, is the love of music and then uh, the, uh, the desire to, to win, uh, you know, desire for excellence. And then I guess you have certain plateaus or milestones. Uh, you know, I guess maybe my f first one was to make a record, you know, and then finally I did that. And then it's like, oh, I want to make a record that sells, you know. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> and then, uh, then you want to try to get a gold record. And then, you know, you want to write your music and then you want to be able to participate in the financial windfall, you know? And so all of these various milestones, you, you learn how to, how to do those things. And, uh, you know, so it's just not enough to, to, to make a record and for it to, to be number one and to, to sell. Uh, but you want to be able to, you know, to have the checks coming to you. You don't want to be uh, like uh, so many of the people in the early twenties and thirties and even in, into the fifties, uh, that, uh, you know, were great singers or great artists, uh, but, uh, you know, they didn't have any type of business acumen. And so, you know, you want to honor them by, you know, progressing and, uh, and then honor yourself. And so, uh, you know, so I, I feel proud about that. And then I guess um, uh, those are the things that I'm, I'm proud of. And I think those are the things that, that motivate me to, you know, to continue and to, uh, you know, just... Uh, be the best version of myself that I can be. And, you know, you talk about business and so many people these days are having to pivot when it comes to their business because of the pandemic and be, just because of life. And you've been able to do what you love and at the same time have a sustainable living and beyond that, great success. What's your secret? Well, I uh, attribute that, uh, a lot of that to my, to my parents. Uh, and a lot of that, too, um, you know, just, um, you know, the, the little books that you read well, when you're a kid, you know, you read you know, about, I don't know, it was the, the dog that looked in the water and he saw, uh, 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 you know, with this other dog with a bone bigger than his and he tried to get that bone and he let it go and then he had no bone because he was looking at his own reflection or about the, the grasshopper is having so much fun and then the ants are just working, working, working in the summertime and the grasshopper is just having a ball. And then winter comes and the poor grasshoppers, you know, he's got nothing in the ants are thriving, getting fat and, you know, just, uh, you know, they, they prepared. So 
I had uh, parents, especially my mother, you know, who was always uh, business oriented. You know, she pushed my dad to buy a house. She pushed him to, um, to start a business and things of that nature. And so, you know, just sitting there and, uh, and I, I, I guess I just learned it, you know, uh, just by, by watching and being an observer. And so for my first check, I mean, the first check I ever got in music, I, I bought a house. And then I bought other houses and, you know, and so, and it's really interesting. Sometimes these houses, it seem like a burden, but now in this uh, time of COVID, it's like, oh, I'm getting rent from here and rent from here and you save this money and invest it uh, in, uh, you know, some hedge fund and invest it in, you know, stocks and bonds or whatever and, uh, and invest it in the union. And, and now I'm at a certain age where I'm getting uh, social security. Who knows how long that's going to last? But, uh, you know, so uh, all these things together, you know, they all come together and they, you know, you've got a, a pot of gold, so to speak, you know, and uh, so it sustains you. So, I, you know, that's the thing that I think that um, a lot of people miss, you know, because you get caught up in the, the show and, you, and the glitz and you don't think about the, the business aspect until sometimes it's too late. Oh my gosh, we could have gone on and on talking and actually we did go on and on a little bit more. So there's a part two for our show and we hope that you'll join us for that as well when we talk with both Lenny and Rennell. And if you'd like to reach out to us, thejanisedwards.com is the website. Care at thejanisedwards.com is how you can reach our team so that we can help you zoom into a new level of production excellence. See you then. It's showtime.